Hello, my name is Brandon Roberts. I'm an engineer on the TAS Runtime team, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to enable and use Integrated Windows Authentication, or IWA, in TAS 4.0. For the IWA feature, there are several requirements. You need the TAS for Windows tile, an Active Directory server up and running, firewall rules and routes in order for your containers to access the Active Directory server, a Group Managed Service Account, or GMSA, on your domain, Hosted Web Core or HWC build pack version 3.1.27 or newer, Wink Release version 2.6.0 or newer, and you need to use TCP routing. Next, we'll talk about the limitations of the IWA feature. In your tile, every app will have access to the GMSA account. It's not currently possible to configure it on an app by app basis. However, if you need to isolate workloads, an isolation segment could be used. Currently, only end user to application IWA is supported. App to service IWA is not available yet. Also, concerning route integrity, Mutual TLS disables TCP routing, so you must either disable Mutual TLS or use TLS only. For this demo, we have a very simple .NET application with two endpoints. The root endpoint simply acknowledges that the application is running and then an auth endpoint that brings up a prompt for Windows credentials, validates them against Active Directory, and then reports back success or failure. First, we'll configure the TASW tile. In the Operations Manager dashboard, select the TASW tile, then choose the Windows Authentication Config section. Select the Enable option to show the configuration parameters for Windows Auth. Make sure that you acknowledge the warning about HTTP routing or the feature will not be enabled. Enter the Active Directory domain name, and then the username and the password for a user that's been granted access to the GMSA credentials. Finally, input the credential spec created from the GMSA. Documentation on how to create a credential spec is located at the link shown in the hover text. After you've input all the information needed, you can save and then review and apply your changes. For the purposes of this demo, I've already created an environment where the .NET application has been set up and pushed. We're using Google Chrome's incognito mode, so we don't have to worry about caching. At the root endpoint, the application responds to let us know that it's running. When we attempt to go to the auth endpoint, it prompts us for credentials. To show that we're not currently logged in, we'll cancel the prompt, and we get a response from the application letting us know that our access has been denied. When we try again, and we enter our username and our password, the application logs us in using Windows Auth, then responds back with our username, which is going to be demo user, and the method that we use to log in, negotiate, which is another name for Windows Authentication. 